हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक देवकर फ्रॉम डेमोस्कोप स्किन एंड हेयर क्लिनिक जयनगर बैंगलोर डैंड्रफ एंड सोरियासिस आर टू डिफरेंट डिसीजेस डैंड्रफ इज एक्सेसिव फ्लेकिंग ऑफ स्किन व्हिच कॉजेस मिनिमल इचिंग एंड सम फ्लेकिंग मे बी देयर डैंड्रफ समटाइम्स कैन बी फिजियोलॉजिकल इफ यू आर नॉट वॉशिंग योर हेयर फॉर मोर देन टू डेज देर कैन बी सीबम सेक्रीशन विच ड्राइज अप एंड गेट्स कलेक्टेड कैरेटोनेसाइट्स और द स्किन सेल्स मे फ्लेक ऑफ which gives a dandruff appearance this is normal and frequent washing of the hair will take care of the problem you may not require dandruff shampoos if you are having minimal flaking frequent washing and keeping the scalp clean may be good enough if there is itching then it is a sign of severe dandruff and you need to take some treatment ketoconazole containing shampoos which are available over the counter can be used to clean the scalp using dandruff shampoos may cause dryness of the hair so you need to use a conditioner there are products which can be used immediately as a conditioner or a stay on conditioner scalp psoriasis is a different problem where psoriasis is a skin disease which is a autoimmune disease it causes patchy areas of thick flaky skin these are silvery thick scales and they can peel peel off and fall as thick flakes of skin sometimes there can be bleeding and itching Psoriasis has to be treated by your proper dermatologist. It may look like dandruff initially, but it is not dandruff and it may increase if it is not treated properly. For psoriasis conditions, we use tar containing preparations to clean the scalp, salicylic acid preparations and some steroid preparations which has to be used under a doctor's prescription only. Psoriasis or dandruff when it is severe may cause hair loss. Hence has to be treated ideally. If psoriasis or dandruff is involving the face it causes eyebrow involvement ear involvement face this may also cause other pigmentation issues on the skin and has to be treated accordingly thank you